Many domestic and foreign investors have adopted a wait-and-see attitude. Many of them I have met have told me that they are waiting for a signal from the Ghanaian people, that the political and business environment is going to change for the better, that we are going to effect a change of course so that we can provide a reasonable environment for them to put in their investments. Ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Book in Matthew 25, 14, 30 tells one of the parables of Jesus Christ. And this is the parable of the talents. This parable teaches us to invest whatever is put in our care wisely for the benefit of our master. The master in this case is the people of Ghana. This administration is just like the last of the servants who buried his talents that was given to him by his master. And when his master came, he returned the one talent to him. But in this case of Akufuadu and Baumia and their cabal, they did not bury the one talent and give us back our one talent when we returned. They gambled with the talents that we gave them and they landed the people of Ghana in a huge debt. We cannot continue on this path. Lessons must be learned from the experience of these last almost eight years. A vote for the MPP will be an expression of satisfaction with the impunity of the last eight years. A vote for the MPP is a vote for a third term for Nana Akufuadu. A vote for the MPP in this election is a vote to escape accountability. It is a vote to allow officials who have stolen and raped this country's resources to escape accountability and go laughing all the way to their bank accounts. Thank you.